Okay, so for here. So it says that annual effective interest rate of I, the present value for perpetuity paying 10 at the end of each three year period with the first payment at the end of year three is 32. Okay, so we know that the present value paying 10 at the end of each three year period, right? So 10, 10 here and throughout. Uh, and with the first payment at the end of year three is 32. Okay, so we know that 10 over uh, equals 32, but it says that the and it, the effective interest rate is annual, right? So we need to convert this. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take the annual rate and set it equal to one plus, uh, well, since this is occurring, at each three year period. And since we need to convert the annual interest rate, we're gonna make the annual interest rate to the third power to represent three years. And we're gonna set it equal to one plus J. So we can find out the uh, three year J effective, right? So then we end up finding out that the interest rate that we need to use here in this case is one plus I to the three minus one. Now, the second one is the present value of a perpetually paying one at the end of each four month period, right? With the first payment at the end of four months, which is X, right? And this is one year at the end of every four month period, right? So we know that the payment is X. Um, oh, no, 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 we know that the payment is one, right? We know that the perpetuity equals X, right? Now we wanna convert the um, annual effective rate into a four month period. Well, how many four month periods are there in one year? Uh, there are three four months period in one year. So we'll do one plus I, which denoted one year, equal to one plus J to the three. Now let's uh, solve. So we'll put, we'll make this one plus I to the one third minus one, right? Now we have to calculate X. Okay, well, hmm, the first thing that we could do is that we can start uh, simplifying, right? So we want to see what we can do with these two equations. Well, both of them have the same um, interest rate of i, right? So let's first uh, simplify. W let's focus on this one first. Uh, we could move 10 to the other side here. And we can get 3.2 times uh, 1 plus i to the 3 minus 1. And then we bring uh, 3.2 to the other side. So it's a uh, 0.3125. And then we add 1 to the other side. Right, and then we one third the other side as well, which is 1.094 or something, and then we subtract one, and we say that i is 0 0.09487. Now we could plug in here, so plus one to the one third, right minus one, which is 0 0.03. So it's one over 0 0.030675. And then we do one over 0 
seven five, and then we end up getting thirty two point fifty nine as the final answer, which is uh, closest to B.